Why are natural hazard disclosures for buyers, sellers and investors, particularly in areas like Silicon Valley? Well, one thing is, is that it's required by law to provide these disclosures. So during a real estate transaction, uh, it is required to make all these disclosures. So uh, there's also kind of a gray area because there are some things that may not be required by law that should be disclosed anyway. That's right. like public information. And it really could impact the buyer's decision to purchase the property. And, you know, depending where you are in the state, we do NHG reports statewide. But areas like Silicon Valley, you do have a lot of environmental contamination from all the high tech uh, industry going on. So <clears throat> that is something that even though the state does not require environmental hazard disclosure, there's no law that says it needs to be done. Uh, it's really a good idea to do that. It is public information. And it really could sway the buyer's decision to purchase the property. Um, and then especially if you're a developer uh, and developing property, you want to know if it's in a flood zone, in a fault zone, um, could be a landslide zone, even liquefaction hazards. All these things can impact development. So it's really important for uh, a buyer to uh, read and understand the report. And it's also important for the seller to make sure all these disclosures are getting made. So... Uh, they're, you know, they're deferring that liability, so to speak. So, Check the full episode on our YouTube channel and on Apple Podcast.